The Curtis Wright XF-87 Blackhawk was a prototype all-weather jet fighter interceptor developed by the Curtis Wright Corporation. It marked the company's first and only foray into pure jet aircraft design and was intended to replace the propeller-driven P-61 Black Widow. Despite its innovative design, the XF-87 failed to secure a production contract, leading to the closure of Curtis Wright's aviation division. The XF-87's development began in response to a 1945 United States Army Air Force's competition for an all-weather fighter bomber. Initially, Curtis Wright proposed the Model 29, a jet-powered attack aircraft designated XA-43. The requirement was later modified to stipulate a jet-powered night fighter, leading to the Model 29A, designated XP-87 Blackhawk. The United States Army Air Forces favored Curtis Wright's proposal to keep the company afloat, canceling the XA-43 project and transferring funds to the XP-87. The XF-87 was a large, all-metal, mid-wing aircraft powered by four Westinghouse XJ-34 W-7 turbojets paired in underwing pods. It featured a tricycle undercarriage and a side-by-side -side cockpit for the pilot and radar operator. The aircraft's gross weight was 49,000 pounds, making it one of Curtis Wright's heaviest designs. Initially, the armament was planned to include nose and tail turrets with 50-inch machine guns and internally mounted rockets. This was later changed to a quartet of 20mm cannons in a nose turret designed to be movable for varied firing angles. The first XF-87 prototype, 45-59600, made its maiden flight on March 5, 1948 at Muroc Dry Lake. Initial performance was promising, but the top speed was 12% slower than expected, and there were issues with buffeting at high speeds. Despite these problems, the United States Air Force placed an order for 57 F-87A fighters and 30 RF-87A reconnaissance aircraft on June 10, 1948. To address the power deficiency, the production F-87As were to be fitted with two General Electric J-47 GE-7 engines. The second prototype, 46522, was redesignated XF-87A and intended to serve as a test bed for these engines. The United States Air Force ultimately favored the Northrop XP-89 Scorpion, canceling the F-87A order on October 10, 1948. This decision was devastating for Curtis Wright, leading to the closure of its aviation division and the sale of its assets to North American Aviation. The Columbus plant, where the XF-87 was developed, was later reopened by North American for F-86 Sabre production. The Curtis Wright XF-87 Blackhawk represents a pivotal moment in the company's history, marking its final attempt to remain relevant in the post-World War II aviation industry. Despite its innovative design and the United States Air Force's initial support, the XF-87's performance issues and the emergence of more promising competitors led to its cancellation. The project's failure underscored the challenges faced by traditional aircraft manufacturers in transitioning to the jet age and ultimately signaled the end of Curtis Wright's aviation endeavors.